As mentioned in the last lesson, the third dimension in the airflow over a wing, lateral flow, is created by pressure differentials. Air flowing over the top surface of a wing is at a lower pressure than that beneath, which can be at a pressure similar to, slightly higher or slightly lower than ambient, depending on angle of attack and wing section. The pressure differential induces spanwise flow from high to low, towards the roots on the upper surface and generally towards the tips on the lower surface. The trailing edge and wingtips are where the air flows interact. The crossover of the inward flow on the upper surface and the outward flow on the lower surface at the tips and trailing edge form vortices, particularly at the tips, where air can spill around them to the low pressure area on top. By convention, the wing is viewed from the rear, so the vortex at the left wingtip rotates clockwise and at the right wingtip anticlockwise. The arrangement of the forces can be seen with the vector triangle. At higher angles of attack, with a lower IAS, the shape of the triangle will change. As speed decreases, the chordwise vector will shorten and the spanwise vector will lengthen, with the greater pressure differential that is creating the increased lift. The result is stronger wingtip vortices. In a more pictorial representation, the change of vortex, form and strength with speed is shown on the screen. The general pattern of the vortices is also shown. Trailing edge vortices create certain vertical velocity components in the airflow near the wing, both behind and in front of it. These vertical velocities cause a downwash over the wing, which, in turn, causes a reduction in the effective angle of attack. As the vortices increase in strength with increased angle of attack at lower speeds, there is further reduction in the effective angle of attack. Because of this local reduction in effective angle of attack, the overall lift generated by a wing will be below that which would be generated if there were no spanwise pressure differential. It is, paradoxically, the production of the lift itself which reduces the magnitude of the lift. To replace the lift lost by the increased downwash, the aircraft must be flown at a higher angle of attack. If the vortices were absent, the lift vector would be at a right angle to the free stream relative airflow. But, with the effective airflow created by the vortices, the lift vector is tilted back and creates drag, known as induced drag. The stronger the vortices are, the greater is the induced drag. Wingtip vortices, in particular their influence on upwash and downwash, have significant effect on several important areas of aerodynamics, stability and control. Some of these effects will be examined in the following lessons.